Ladies and gentlemen, the Technology Academy Finland has today, on the recommendation of the International Prize Jury, confirmed the winners of the 2010 Millennium Technology Prize. The awards this year go to three innovations, with three innovators respectively. One of them will, as the tradition goes, receive the grand prize. Each laureate will receive his or her prize in a ceremony to be held on the 9th of June here in Helsinki. The main criteria for the Millennium Technology Prize relate to innovation, not to discovery, not to in an invention, but an innovation with a proven record of producing a substantial improvement of mankind. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2010 Millennium Technology Prize winners and their innovations are for his work in plastics electronics with a high and very important meaning for the future in polymers and new materials. Sir Richard Friend, a professor from the Cavendish Laboratory, Department of Physics, University of Cambridge in the UK. For his contributions in the area of plastic electronics, his work is leading to a variety of products with high energy efficiency and reduced environmental impact. Polymer-based materials are bringing about a revolution and a paradigm shift in the optoelectronic sector, with far-reaching consequences for applications in display devices, lighting, sensing, and solar energy harvesting. Um, we discovered that if we sandwiched a, a structure, one of these plastic semiconductors between two electrodes and put the right voltage on, uh, it, was, it was emitting light. For his work in computing, for the innovation named Reduced Instruction Set Microprocessor ARM, Dr. Professor Stephen Byram Ferber, Professor, School of Computer Science, the University of Manchester, the United Kingdom. For his invention of the ARM microprocessor and its implementation on silicon chips. This invention has enabled the revolution in mobile electronics. To date, more than 18 billion ARM based chips have been manufactured and are used in ubiquitous computing applications such as mobile phones digital photography and video, music players, fixed and wireless networking, automobiles, and healthcare, benefiting a large number of people all over the world. They were expounding uh, a move to much simpler microprocessor architectures. And not only were they expounding this, they were demonstrating the effectiveness of this idea by building um, a very competitive microprocessor using uh, a class of postgraduate students in a year. So um, if they can design a microprocessor, maybe we can too. And the third prize goes to work in the field of physical chemistry, carrying the label dye-sensitized solar cells. And the innovator is Dr. Professor Michael Gretzel, he is from the Laboratory of Photonics and Interfaces, Faculty of Basic Science, Ecole Polytechnique de Lausanne in Switzerland. For his invention and development of dye-sensitized solar cells, known as Kretzel cells, the excellent price performance ratio of these novel devices gives them major potential as significant contributor to the diverse portfolio of future energy, te energy technologies. 
Gretsch cells are likely to have an important role in low-cost, large-scale solutions for renewable energy. Besides photovoltaics, the concepts of Gretsch cell cells can also be applied in batteries and hydrogen production, all important components of future energy needs. Behind that is that I was always intrigued with natural photosynthesis. The way the, the plant uses molecules to generate charges and separate those charges. And nature then uses those charges to make chemicals out of water, oxygen, and out of CO2. This marks now the end of the announcement on the decisions that the Technology Academy has made today here in Helsinki. The laureates will receive their prizes on the 9th of June from the hands of the President of the Republic of Finland. In the opinion of the Academy, the three areas here receiving recognition, electronics, computing and energy, are very clear contributors to the well-being of mankind.